The essence of philosophy is that a man should so live that his happiness shall depend as little as possible on external things. People are not disturbed by things, but by the view they take of them. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. The key is to keep company only with people who uplift you, whose presence calls forth your best. We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Wealth consists not in having great possessions, but in having few wants. If you want to improve, be content to be thought foolish and stupid. Keep silence for the most part, and speak only when you must, and then briefly. We should not moor a ship with one anchor, or our life with one hope. Only the educated are free. Difficulties are things that show a person what they are. There is only one way to happiness and that is to cease worrying about things which are beyond the power of our will. It takes more than just a good looking body. You've got to have the heart and soul to go with it. First learn the meaning of what you say, and then speak. Make the best use of what is in your power, and take the rest as it happens. First say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. If you desire to be good, begin by believing that you are wicked. If evil be spoken of you and it be true, correct yourself. If it be a lie, laugh at it. It is the nature of the wise to resist pleasures, but the foolish to be a slave to them. If you wish to be a writer, write. The greater the difficulty, the more glory in surmounting it. Skillful pilots gain their reputation from storms and tempests. Know, first, who you are, and then adorn yourself accordingly. If thy brother wrongs thee, remember not so much his wrongdoing, but more than ever that he is thy brother. He is a wise man who does not grieve for the things which he has not, but rejoices for those which he has. No man is free who is not master of himself. Be careful to leave your sons well instructed rather than rich, for the hopes of the instructed are better than the wealth of the ignorant. If one oversteps the bounds of moderation, the greatest pleasures cease to please. It is not he who reviles or strikes you who insults you, but your opinion that these things are insulting. No great thing is created suddenly. All philosophy lies in two words, sustain and abstain. Whoever does not regard what he has as most ample wealth, is unhappy, 
though he be master of the world. All religions must be tolerated, for every man must get to heaven in his own way. To accuse others for one's own misfortunes is a sign of want of education. To accuse oneself shows that one's education has begun. To accuse neither oneself nor others shows that one's education is complete. Do not seek to bring things to pass in accordance with your wishes, but wish for them as they are, and you will find them. You are a little soul carrying around a corpse. Practice yourself, for heaven's sake in little things, and then proceed to greater. Freedom is not procured by a full enjoyment of what is desired, but by controlling the desire. It is not death or pain that is to be dreaded, but the fear of pain or death. It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. Circumstances don't make the man, they only reveal him to himself. We are not privy to the stories behind people's actions, so we should be patient with others and suspend judgment of them, recognizing the limits of our understanding. In prosperity it is very easy to find a friend, but in adversity it is the most difficult of all things. Attach yourself to what is spiritually superior, regardless of what other people think or do. Hold to your true aspirations no matter what is going on around you. Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. <laughs>